In this video I want to show you how to upgrade an HP Stream laptop and that might be because you just need to increase the size of the hard drive and make it bigger or because your hard drive is broken it's not responding when you try to get into the operating system. If you're here because you want to increase the RAM, the memory of your HP Stream, sorry you're not able to do that. It is onboard integrated into the motherboard so unfortunately you cannot increase the RAM. Um, however you can increase the speed by using a, a faster hard drive and a more efficient hard drive. If you're here because you just need to disassemble and be able to take the keyboard off and get to the fan to the motherboard click here. If you have the fortune that your current hard drive and your HP stream is functional and you can get into Windows I'd highly recommend you just go ahead and stop whatever you're doing and purchase like a USB flash storage drive. Uh, you can get like a 16 gigabyte, um, 32 gigabyte at Walgreens or eBay or you know anywhere for around 15 bucks, 10 bucks. And uh, what you want to want to do here in this picture, you want to go into Windows and on the bottom left where you search, just type in Restore Backup and then what you're going to want to do is just insert your USB and it'll give you instructions on to move everything, your whole operating system, all the drivers and any pictures or videos that you have. It'll make a copy onto the USB drive and so you're going to need that in case your hard drive does break in the future or if uh, you're copying the files onto a larger SSD hard drive. If your current hard drive is broken or it's just not responding to uh, getting into Windows, whether that be Windows 10 or Windows 8, and you did not back up your operate system and your files beforehand onto a USB drive or whatever, um, you will have to acquire the operate system again for your stream. Now I would recommend contacting HP first, phone them up directly, just Google their phone number and have your serial number ready of your stream and see if they can give you a disk for your stream even if it's still not under warranty. If they give you a hassle and they won't do it for whatever reason um, you will have to get a Windows disk that's compatible with your stream and your operate system. Now there's several versions of the operate system for Windows whether that be 10 or 8 and it's not on a sticker anymore. It used to be on the side of a computer it would have the product key for Windows. Now it's actually embedded into the uh, BIOS into the motherboard and they do that of course to avoid piracy. But it makes it very difficult to reinstall your operating system if you did not back it up beforehand. Um, you can get the Windows disk directly from like eBay or Amazon and you don't have to buy another license because you already paid for it with the stream. So you just need to acquire the uh, Windows 8 or Windows 10 disks and then you'll need to acquire the exact version and the, the Windows product key and there are steps to do that but I cannot I don't have the time to do it in this video. Okay now for replacing the hard drive um, or adding more storage space we'll start with the most simplest and we'll work up to the most complex. Let's say that your hard drive is currently working it loads the operating system just fine and it's you're happy with the speed you just more you just want more storage space fortunately the stream does have an SD micro slot so you can purchase an SD micro card pictured here this is a 64 gig which is like 30 bucks but you can get one anywhere from like 8 gigs all the way up to 128 gigs which is uh, substantially more expensive um, so that would solve that you can buy what we talked about earlier a USB flash drive with a 16 gig or or higher and that would just connect to your USB port so you can add storage that way just do not use your backup storage that has your backup files in your operating system for this as well you're going to want to put that backup USB of your HP operating system and files in a, a special plastic container put a label on it and put it in a safe place now you can also, along with the USB storage, flash storage, and the SD microcard, you can actually get an external hard drive that connects to your USB port. Um, you can get 500 gigs, a terabyte. Um, I know you can get like the Toshiba external hard drives on eBay for like 50 bucks, brand new. 
and you could also get the external hard drives that are SSD uh, speed those are a little bit more expensive but I know uh, people use them for gaming there's actually people who play War of Warcraft uh, on the HP streams with an external hard drive SSD drive now to the more complex if your hard drive is broken or your hard drive is still good and you're just not satisfied with the options I gave you as far as a SD micro or an SD um, external hard drive you can go in and replace the Wi-Fi card out of the PCIe port and put an SSD hard drive PCIe to replace it and you can go up to 256 gigabytes SSD actually they might even have higher than that uh, on average you'd probably want to put like a 128 gigabyte this specific hard drive I'm showing you here is a PM830 that's Peace and Paul M is a Mary 830 SSD it is an MSATA PCIe and the PCIe is the only thing that will work on the streams it's the only thing that will work in that port and you may be asking yourself, well, how about my Wi-Fi? Well, you compromise your Wi-Fi slot for the hard drive. Unfortunately, HP made their streams to where the hard drive is integrated on board, and so it's not something that you can upgrade or replace. So what you'll have to do instead is purchase you a Wi-Fi network that's external onto your USB port. And basically, it's like two inches. The only thing you do, and I'll show you right here, you just put it in the USB, you install the driver and then you're all set to go so that is a sacrifice and of course you can always use the Ethernet if you're at home and you're near your computer you can just hook it up directly the Ethernet port directly to your computer you probably either have an HP stream 11 HP stream 13 or stream 14 the first picture I showed you was the 11 this picture I'm showing you now is HP stream 13 and then the next one I want to show you is 14. But pretty much the PCIe port is accessible on all three models. Now you're going to need to reinstall Windows 8 or 10, whatever you had on there, onto your new blank hard drive. And to do that, you just, of course, you have to reassemble your, your HP, plug it up, and then go into BIOS. To do that, you just tap F10, that's F as in Frank, 10 at startup when you see the HP logo, or hold down the escape key and tap F10 change the boot order to where it goes to the USB port first that's if you if you have a USB uh, flash drive that you installed and you did your backup on that you put Windows on now you may be you might have a disk instead a DVD disk you may be installing Linux or you may be you may have purchased a new Windows operating system to put on that in that case you have to plug up an external DVD player to it and then change the boot order to where it goes to DVD CD first. For whatever reason if you're trying to do the install and your computer is not reading your PCIe uh, hard drive that you just newly installed um, you might have to go back in there and unplug the battery for about five minutes and then replug it back in. <clears throat> That's self-explanatory when you look at the battery it just pulls off. Um, I should have told you at the beginning um, if you do before you reassemble or when you're reassembling don't put all the screws in that way if you have to go back in there you it won't be as difficult as at first and for whatever reason if that doesn't work you'll need to do a BIOS update you basically would need to go to another computer and install the flash BIOS update on another USB port and flash it but I don't think you'll have that problem but I'm just leaving it out there just in case you do have that problem um, and then once you do have your operating system installed Make sure you don't do any BIOS changes on it. Um, if they have a new update, I would recommend just not doing it. That way, if they do whitelist uh, a PCIe card, yours won't be deactivated. Uh, they would probably do that if they wanted to uh, get you to buy another computer. So just be aware of that. And once you have your operating system successively installed on your new hard drive, you're going to want to go back into BIOS and you want to change the boot order to where it'll go to network group first uh, that way it'll bypass everything your bad hard drive and your DVD and all that and go directly into the operating system thanks so much for watching and now I'll show you the disassemble of the HP stream we'll go ahead and remove the back there's a total of seven screws it looks like just needs like a Phillips Phillips head screwdriver is it
don't retail for that much used. I think I see them online for anywhere from fully working to like 80 to 100 bucks. Um, the processor in there is not that powerful. You have to also remove what I would call legs or end caps. So you got a total of four legs. And then you also have two little end caps here, the little rubber things. To get those off, um, I have like a little, little small Phillips, or I'm sorry, flathead. Uh, you could actually use a steak knife. I'll show you what I'll do here. see in there there's another screw so, okay next you're going to um, open it back up for the lid and you're going to use your little snake uh, steak knife again or um, a uh, little flathead or you know, also a little credit card would help as well to go around these edges so pretty much what you want to do is you want to gradually work your way off the edges and there's one little ribbon that's connecting the, the palm rest to the uh, to the bottom so You want to make sure with your steak knife or your little flathead that you don't do damage to the plastic as you're going around just for cosmetic reasons. So you can see I've almost got it taken apart. What you do is then you put it on its lid and then that'll gradually pop out. So we got it. So like I said, it just takes muscle and a little bit of patience, but it eventually comes out. What you want to do next is um, see here we want to want to undo these ribbons that just for the uh, keyboard just pops up and it just pops right out there there's another one right here which is the mouse trackpad and uh, take your little and then that pops out Another one here. So there's a total of three and all that's holding it in there. Okay. So that's your palm rest. Alright, so battery would be pretty easy to uh, replace. You got a total of one, two, three, four, about four Phillips head screws and, and of course there's the speakers. Those are easy to replace. I'm sorry, there's your Wi-Fi card right there.